There's a show on Fox. It's called The Last Man on Earth. If you've been keeping up with that show, they ended the show with a segment where all the nuclear power plants in the area are starting to go belly up. Because if that hit where all the people were to disappear from the planet for whatever reason, or a good portion of them, these nuclear reactors or sites or whatever would start going pop, pop, fizz, fizz, and oh, what a fucking terrifying thing this is. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> but we were actually dealing with something that like that that happened just recently in the last few days out in Washington State. Mm -hmm. A portion of an underground tunnel containing a rail car is filled with radioactive waste collapsed Tuesday at a sprawling storage facility in a remote area of Washington State. That's where our co-host Connie is from. Forcing an evacuation of workers at the site that made plutonium for nuclear weapons for decades after World War II. Officials detected no release of radiation at the Hartford Nuclear Reservation and no workers were injured. However, the workers inside were told not to eat or drink anything as well and a good portion of the area was evacuated just for safety's sake. The tunnels are hundreds of feet long with about eight feet or 2.4 meters of soil covering them. The cause of the collapse is not immediately known. Now, it was discovered as part of a routine inspection that occurred during a massive cleanup that had been underway since the 1980s, which has cost more than $2 billion a year. Wow. That's a lot of money. The expected work is supposed to take place until, get this, 20. 60. I don't think anybody with a male you know, atheist ranger might love to see 2060. I don't think I'm going to live to see 2060. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I'll live to see 26. I, I don't know, man. I mean, li living to see 69 with the fucking junk I put in my mouth, I doubt it. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about food either. <laughs> <laughs> And the cost is going to cost over a hundred billion dollars by that time. Now they were st apparently they were studying a area that had collapsed to determine how to create a barrier between the contaminated equipment and the tunnel and the outside air. Now workers again uh, were evacuated and several hundreds uh, further away were told to remain indoors for several hours. Yeah, this is this is kind of a weird situation. I mean, we haven't had to deal with anything like this. The closest thing that we that we've seen like this was over in Russia a number of years ago when that power plant over there yeah, actually, Chernobyl. Back Chernobyl. In the 80s. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So the and the only way that they could contain that was to put a big like a bomb shelter around the plant there. They had to mm -hmm. build a new wall and and things like that around it. So that's terrifying. It certainly is. You, know, you uh, never know what you're sitting on. I mean, I mean, we're back where I could be living could have been a nuclear bomb site at one time for all I know, you know, or, or something else. Yeah, it's toxic or something. You know, you just never know. Yeah, makes you want to go out and buy a Geiger counter. <laughs> just gonna you, know, know how you to see all it. these people who are living in, uh, you know, like in brand new houses, and all of a sudden they got all this mold and stuff, and you know, and the ground's all full of mold, and it, it tra transfers into the home, and people get sick, and their kids get sick. It's disgusting. Yeah, no, in in Wisconsin, I'm I, I can't say for every other state, but I know in certain areas of Wisconsin we have a natural forming of radiation. It's called radon, mm -hmm. and radon gas. Yeah, radon gas and you yeah, get we have that here too oh you have that there too okay mm -hmm. the radon gas uh, it leaks in from the soil mm -hmm. and it leaks into your home and it's like getting a thousand chest x-rays a hundred times a day right so you can get uh, bad cancer from this shit yeah my brother he uh when he sold his town home he had to have a, a test done for that for the radon gas and the, it was pretty high actually but i guess the, where it was because it's like in the middle of nowhere you know that's just how it was now the difference between radon gas and what happened out in Washington state is that those things can be fixed. I mean, you can get that under control, right? But this will be a bigger situation, especially since they were with rail cars, stuff filled with toxic waste or whatever in them. Atheist stranger, what is your take on this? Well, let me first start by saying I'm very glad that no one was hurt. I actually had a aunt and my aunt and my uncle and my cousins, the whole family. They actually want to like a long time ago though, had to uh, move out of their apartment building because it was, uh, I guess, I don't know if infested is the word, but it was like full of radon from uh, previous owners. Oh, really? Yeah. That's uh, that's something that can be fixed. It's it's it, it's a it's a heavy procedure to do, but I mean, it can be fixed. Yeah. Yeah. This is far from radon, of course, but well, I mean, it's like it's like asbestos, you know. 
Yeah. These buildings, a lot of these buildings were made back in the, you know, 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. you know, and they never knew it was bad. And now people are getting this mesothelioma or whatever it's called. Mesothelioma. Mesothelioma. Yeah. I can't pronounce it. I can hear it in my yeah, head. I just can't get it out of my mouth. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people are getting sick and dying and getting cancer and all that stuff. I mean, you yeah. just never know. This thing that happened in Washington State, is it going to have any, like, negative effects on the environment? Do we know? Or? I, I don't think so because it, it seems like that if it seems to be fairly contained right now it doesn't look like there's anything going on as far as there's any serious risk that to the general public but i mean that is a was a possibility that was of course a possibility that's why they said for the surrounding areas to stay indoors for the next several hours don't go outside because the you know that shit could get in the air. We, it, you wouldn't even know it. Ra that's the thing about radiation is it penetrates you and you have no idea it's there. Let me put it like this. Everything that's around you has some form of radiation on it. A little bit, not a lot. You're radioactive. I'm radioactive. Matt's radioactive. Atheist Ranger's radioactive. Bananas are even more radioactive than we are, but we still eat them. But those are nominal radiation levels that we endure every day. So it's not that's not a big deal. But these major consolidations of radiation are worse to deal with, of course. That's true. I mean, uh, look at the uh, what happened to some Japanese when the atomic bomb was dropped. I mean, people who weren't anywhere near the blast, you know, some of them did end up dying from radiation poisoning because they got too far to, uh, you know, the blast site. If I right. remember correctly. Yeah. Then that radiation gets up in the upper atmosphere and then it can travel along with the jet stream. So well, it's also weird. You like when um, train wrecks, you know, rail cars that are transporting chemicals and stuff. And, you know, yeah. there, there's a derailment and, the you know, everything is damaged. You know, ammonia leaks sometimes, you know, harmful chemicals that are being spewed up into the air and everyone's got to evacuate. And, you know, yep. people get sick from it. Yeah, that usually just, happens like with know. oil. That usually happens like with uh, oil trains that usually end up crashing for whatever reason, too. 